Let's. I noticed that I start all of my calls clapping. I'm not really sure why, but anyway, I'm always excited to be here. Let's fire up your metabolism. And that's the topic for today. And I just want to be clear, there isn't one way to fire up your metabolism. There are a few different lifestyle habits that we need to do in order to manipulate our metabolism. However, today I wanted to share how you can start uh, boosting your metabolism with nutrition. So with this simple hack. So as you may know, sleep, hydration, movement have a lot to do with our metabolism, but so does nutrition, what we eat, when we eat, how much we eat of what. So when we start eating right, we can actually start to notice a difference in how we feel because now we're actually fueling our body with what it needs to function at its best for us to feel lighter, for us to feel more mental clarity, for us to have more energy, which naturally allows us to go day to day happier, in a better mood, more productive and more effective. So having good portions of our macronutrients is a great starting point. So when you build your plate the right way, you're actually setting yourself up for success. So how can we build our plate to make sure we're actually moving in the right direction that's also going to be metabolism friendly? It's going to start reigniting our metabolism. So we want to make sure our plate is filled with protein, carbohydrates, and vegetables, and then a little bit of fats. So a good guide to follow without having to track anything is following the 40, 40, 20 rule. I apologize for my, wow, I, uh, <laughs> let me try that again and get a normal circle so I can show you. Nine, 20, the 40, 40, 20. Okay, much better. The 40 40 20 rule. So you have 40% protein, 40% vegetables, 20% carbohydrates. If you need to envision something, you can envision that it's 9 20 on a clock. And that's how you make it. So every time you make a meal or you build a plate, you want to make sure that you're building your plate with 40% protein. 40% vegetables, and 20% carbohydrates. And you may be asking, well, where do fats come in? You want to add healthy fats um, in two meals per day. So when you balance your plate this way, you'll actually be left feeling more satisfied. You'll be fuller longer. You'll provide your body with enough protein, um, which will help you maintain more muscle, also burn more fuel. Um, you're also giving your body enough nutrients because you aren't skipping out on anything. You're covering everything that you need. The problem that most people run into is they create meals that are slowing down their metabolism. So they're typically, you know, high carb, high fat with very little protein. So if I could kind of show you what most people do, it's you know, here's the plate, and it's typically, like, filled with carbs, and then it has typically topped with some fats, whether it's cheese or oil, avocado, whatever the case may be, and then you get some people every once in a while maybe they'll add some protein to it and it's a very small portion of their plate. So when we do that, we run into a little bit of an issue and we have high carb, high fat, very little protein, very little vegetables. So you want to make sure that you have all of your macronutrients in a balanced manner rather than neglecting any. We don't want to leave anything out and we don't want to overdo it in anything either. So to make this easy for you, something that my clients love, it was a little bit hesitant with sharing it, but I'm gonna share it anyway, is my meal plan table. So my meal plan table breaks down the macronutrients and also provides you with how to build your meals. The reason why it's super important is because it actually shows you what foods are a true protein source. So it gives you the list of proteins, a list of all your carbs, 
and what a true fat is along with your vegetables. And you're like, okay, well, isn't that obvious? Like, why is this important? Well, sometimes you actually may have been informed on what foods are really in what category. And this can actually make or break someone's meal, could also make or break their result. I see this a lot with vegetarians as well, where they're kind of like losing on what is what. And I can't really tell you how many times I have told someone to add more protein to their diet and they send me a picture of a piece of toast and peanut butter. Now, that's not a bad meal, but I always respond asking them, you know, where is your protein? And they're always like, what do you mean? I have my peanut butter right here. So peanut butter is not a protein source first. Peanut butter is a fat source. Peanut butter has some protein in it, but it is in fact a fat so it's important to study the meal plan table that I'm going to post below because it'll actually allow you to structure your meals with the right breakdown and of your macronutrients with the right information. So if you tried adding more and more peanut butter to your day, thinking you were adding more protein, in fact, you would only be adding more fats to your diet, not protein. So I'm sure you can understand where that could turn into a problem. But again, you don't know what you don't know, which is why the meal plan table really educates you on what you need to know when it comes to our foods. So this week, I want you to try your best at building your meals using the meal plan table and the portion control guide, which allows you to create your meals with the 40, 40, 20 in mind. So the whole point of this is so that you can start eating to promote a faster metabolism However, we also want to make sure that we're also eating enough. So throughout our day, we want a minimum of three meals. So if you're eating less than that, you want to get to three meals per day. And then from there, slowly increase maybe three meals with a snack. But you don't want to go hours and hours without eating because that will hurt your metabolism rather than help it. So again, take advantage of the meal plan table. I know it's helped hundreds, if not thousands of people already. And before I go, I'm here inviting you to my free seven day challenge. Um, my free seven day challenge really helps you burn fat, reduce bloat, fire up your metabolism in literally seven days. So it's not a permanent solution, but it is a stepping stone to living a healthier lifestyle. And it's filled with tons of valuable content for you to really start, you know, taking back control of your health without having to flip your entire life upside down. And, you know, it allows you to apply simple habits each day that amounts to great results. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that what I just showed you is something that you could start applying to your day to day. If you do, you will start feeling better. You actually will, in fact, start seeing results by just simply changing that one thing. So I attached the link to my seven day challenge along with my meal plan table guide for you to take a look at. And tomorrow is my favorite day, but it's mindset day. And I'll be going over three mental hacks that you can change your state in seconds. So we all go through our day, myself included. Sometimes we get in a little bit of a funk and we don't know how to get out or we read something or saw something that kind of like threw our mood down the drain and we're like, oh my God, like I have the rest of the day left. What could I do? So I'll actually be sharing three things that you can do to snap out of it real quick. Um, something that I do as well, because let's face it, you know, I'm bubbly and energetic, just like, you know, most of you, but there are times where, you know, I have a bad day or a bad few moments that I need to snap out of it quick. So join me tomorrow. I'm super excited. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. I can't believe that it's Friday already. And I'll talk to you guys soon.